All right, welcome back everyone. Today we have an article here on the RTX 3090 Ti and its mining performance. Uh, this is from Tom's Hardware. So the RTX 3090 Ti, or Ti, I don't know, whatever you call it, Ti, it hits 132 mega hash, probably on ETH hash, in crypto mining with the overclock 24 gigabyte per second GD, GDDR6X memory. Uh, the RTX 3090 Ti would be a great mining card if pricing was lower. Yeah, it's great. It gets a great hash rate, all this stuff. It probably consumes a lot of power as well, probably over 300 watts. But if you're spending 2000 bucks on this card and maybe making, I don't know how much a day, it's going to take well over a year to get your ROI, your uh, return on investment on this card. So numbers are great. Mega hash is great. But with the uh, Ethereum proof of uh, stake coming up at the end of the year, most likely, uh, I don't know. Most people are steering away from the RTX 3090s. Uh, they're staying away from most GPUs at this time. They are still, um, GPUs are still a little bit above MSRP at scalper prices. And the prices are f uh, falling. Uh, the inventory is backing up. And you're starting to see us the, the slowly... Slowly downward trend on GPU pricing. If you go to StockX, eBay, you can see that. And Newegg 2 will actually show you how much the card has dropped. So it's kind of good to get a feeling for that. I'm just waiting. I don't think I'm going to buy any cards anytime soon, even if they look ideal. Especially not a 3090T. I'm not dropping 2K on a graphics card. Uh, let's go look at that real quick. So let's go over to Newegg. And they are asking of whopping... And it's in whopping 1999.99, 19, 2,000 bucks, 2,000 US dollar smackaroos. Uh, you can add it to the cart. So this puppy is in stock. So you got stock availability, high price. There we go. Got all screwed up there. Uh, yeah, you got stock availability with a high price. You know, stock availability means these things aren't flying off the shelves. Yeah, not even for mining and probably not even gaming. 2000 bucks for a graphics card? Nah. So here you go. You got some reviews on it. Yeah, way overpriced. Let's go back to the article. Oh, let's see. So, the, oh, so this is uh, Tom's Hardware talking about Tweak Towns recently posted a memory overclocking and mining review of NVIDIA's RTX 3090 Ti. And he found some serious gains by overclocking the cards. Micron uh, 21 gigabytes per second GDDR6X memory all the way up to over 24 gigabytes per second. Mining performance improved. Uh, it improved significantly making the 3090 Ti one of the fastest Ethereum miners on the planet. NVIDIA's 3090 Ti is a bad choice for, for mining for uh, from a pricing perspective. So I like how they put those two sentences back to back. The 3090 is one of the fastest Ethereum miners on the planet. However, it is a very, 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 very bad choice for mining from a pricing perspective. If someone gives you one for free, win. You got a $2,000 asset and you can start uh, mining on it and making money off Ethereum, uh, mining Ethereum. However, as it should take about, yeah, it's going to take about a 450, they didn't say what unit, but I'm saying days. It'll probably take around 450 days to break even at the current rates. Uh, never mind the merge, like I mentioned, the Ethereum proof of stake merge that is supposed to kill Ethereum uh, GPU miner, uh, mining later this year. It was supposed to happen in June, and they just said that's not happening in June. It's a big undertaking. I don't expect it to happen anytime soon. Uh, earliest maybe is the end of the year. Who knows? Uh, if you're a hopeful miner or just a miner flush with unused profits from the early 2020 days, the fact that there's no LHR limiter on the 3090 Ti might tempt you. Don't fall for it. Uh, don't. It's also interesting to see how NVIDIA's uh, 3090 Ti compares to the previous 3090. And we may be getting a taste of things to come with NVIDIA's ADA architecture and the RTX 40 series that is set to launch later this year. So NVIDIA has a bunch of stuff coming out, uh, which is good. There was something down here I wanted to highlight. Yeah, fortunately for gamers, even the RTX 3090 Ti is extremely good memory overclocking. It won't turn into a mining bargain anytime soon. So there's this war, you know, the 
NVIDIA hates crypto miners. That's what they put in that cursed LHR low hash rate thing and uh, just to benefit gamers. But it's, again, as a business model, very, very dumb because miners will buy one too many cards, whereas gamers buy one card for their rig, right? So where's the uh, common sense there? I would be making mining GPUs, you know, even specific mining GPUs. You may be going to ASICs. NVIDIA should look at that. I don't know. They should make specific mining GPUs for the community and they'll do well. Then just make the gaming cards too. Come on. I don't get it. I don't, it's clear to me and I'm an idiot. So I don't know. Yeah. Next generation GPUs are also on our horizon. If NVIDIA sticks with its anti-mining LHR software, even if the merge doesn't happen this year, future cards might not end up being faster than the RTX 3090 Ti. But as with all things crypto, things could change in the blink of an eye. That is true. So there you go, 3090 Ti putting in awesome numbers, but at a horrible $2,000 sticker price, plus shipping and tax, uh, not worth it. Not The juice isn't worth the squeeze. I'm just holding off. I'm not adding any GPUs. It's just not smart at this time. I'm not going to get my ROIs. I'm just going to wait and see what happens if the prices drop. Hey, if this card drops to a thousand bucks, I might consider it, but I doubt it. So I'd rather get a bunch of little cards and have one big puppy like this. I'd like, I'd rather get maybe uh. so what are we getting here? I forget. Let's go back. So 132, let's see, uh, 132. And if we talk divided by 32, I'd have to get four 1660 supers and I'd rather have four 1660 supers than a uh, one RTX 3090 Ti, to be honest. I don't know why I would just, it's easier to handle a smaller. I don't know. Just, just my preference having dealt with these big cards, like the 3080 Ti's. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying I prefer to have multiple smaller cards than one big massive 3090 Ti, which breaks the bank. So there you go, 3090 Ti. If you've been wondering, if you're looking at GPUs, I would not buy one if you're a miner. I'm sorry. It's tempting. Oh, people are making money, blah, blah, blah. But you're not going to ROI those cards. You're not going to get your money back. Uh, why not just take that 2K and buy the freaking Ethereum directly and you'll be ahead of the curve instead of having to wait 450 some days or more, or if at all, to ROI that card. So you gotta you got to compare this you know, opportunity cost of your money putting a 2K in one card versus just buying the crypto or buying multiple little cards or just not buying any cards and buying the crypto. See what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Yeah. All right. That's all I got. 3090Ti has great hash rate. Big deal, but it's overpriced. And this says it all right here. It would be a great mining card if the pricing was lower. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe if it was 500 bucks, maybe. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm out, guys. What do you think? Let me know. I'll talk to you later.